Yeah. Okay, it looks like we're live. So I hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, and uh, today we're going to talk about Challenge Deck and talk about some of the news that we got going on and all that good stuff. Uh, I'm Chase Eskum, and uh, you, know, you can you can kind of introduce yourself. Okay, so my name is Imo Bongodofot. I'm also a Challenge Deck user. Awesome. Awesome. And, and uh, then we got, of course, the challenge master, Will Patrick. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, today we're doing, like, an open call. We're going to see, you know, how many people join us and uh, just talk about challenges and uh, talk about, you know, all the different things that we got going on with the project. So uh looks like we got lots of challenges this week. You know, we've been pushing a lot about uh, we got taken a coin market cap. So, uh, you know, we've been trying to make, you know, um, uh, people aware of that and hopefully get added back to coin market. Uh, we've been, uh, we've been kind of critical to finance, you know, we, you know, them not contributing their tokens. So we don't know if we're just doing that as kind of a retaliatory thing. And, um, then, uh, we got other news, you know, we're getting picked up by a lot of other, uh, listing sites though. So, uh, you know, I, I see that there's new indexes, new coin, uh, indexes that are us so um so we're definitely gaining some uh some exposure and getting getting more well known um what do you see from your end challenge master challenge. You got, you got, uh, any news for us this week yeah yeah sure sure i think uh the major the major uh challenges we had concerning this you know this polar was just be taken down of CHL from a um, market cap. Yeah. So it's, it's very unfortunate that we've uh, been on track. You know, it, it, it's quite a sad thing, you know, to be challenged, uh, to be challenged community, right? Yeah. So I think that was a major, you know, shock out for the week. Yeah, and it's just one of those things. I mean, it's, you know, the crypto industry is so new right now, and, uh, you know, we've been a lot to kind of talk about finance. You know, we they asked us to be on the finance our contract chain. I don't know if you guys remember that, but uh, you know, they have the BSP chain and they actually talked to it. They recruited us for a long time to come on and build on the on the finance our contract chain. And uh eventually we, we kinda of asked for funds to do that. You know, we said, Hey, you guys can help us with funding, uh, maybe we can build on the finance from our contract chain, but uh we never got the funding, and uh, then we kind of took a hard line approach to them, not distributing their tokens. And I think, you know, just, you know, they were like, hey, you know, if you guys want to do that, then, you know, we'll, we'll take you off coin market cap. And, you know, coin market cap historically has been a huge place for crypto information. So uh, it's not good that we got taken down, but I think we'll make up for that in other areas. And I think hopefully, if, you know, us as a community making enough noise and enough challenge people make enough challenges and and you know uh yeah. we'll get we'll get added back okay so talking about making more noise um what have been put in place to help us um to help put us out there yes i know that yes we have we have gotten some sort of exposure but then we still need more in order to make more noise like you said so what has been put in place for this particular um activity like the making of the noise rather yeah it's just uh, getting more people to uh challenges and this of course kind of like this one here are amplified and uh we uh so we just need more people that come on and uh and more people that do the challenges and and just more awareness i mean we're a new project uh you know we really only started working pretty well the last six months or so I think, you know, um, just getting information out, getting a, a more, a bigger reputation and, uh, and all that good stuff. But we're really looking to the community. You know, we're really looking to the PayPal holders to help us because, you know, this is definitely a new network that we built. You know, we're the first people to do social smart contracts where people can get rewarded for doing different things. Um, so it's just kind of up to us in the community to get, you know, more people aware of us. And uh, yeah. and more noise. Okay, so uh, have, major, major. have we some um, some sort of um, sponsored ads on 
the social media space like probably Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. Are we looking to sponsor that? Is that doable? Uh, we have, you know, for a long time, the ads were banned. They, they, did, there were no crypto uh, ads that you were allowed to buy on Facebook or Instagram. I think they changed that, but uh, we uh, were actually. I don't think that's the greatest place for us because we're actually trying to steal their business. What we're trying to do is we're trying to steal Facebook and Instagram's business of of doing um, advertising. Sort of that's one thing that could it could be used for. And in the past, we've shown that, you know, if you spend $30 with Facebook uh, and you spend like, I don't I remember, we, we tested this out, I actually made a video and laid out this. Uh, Cause I, I used to run up on Facebook ads for a supplement business I used to have. And, uh, and we did a side by side comparison and for $30 uh, of money versus $30 of crypto, you got like 10 times better results using challenge. So, if you run thirty dollars of of challenge, or if you, if you run thirty dollars of crypto through challenge and ask people to share something on Facebook, you'll get you know ten times more impressions, ten times more likes than you would do if you spend thirty dollars uh, with Facebook. Um, so we're we're actually probably what we need to do is probably get in touch with people who are into digital marketing, uh, people who uh, you know, and 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 we what, what we really need is we need people who are kind of like business people, entrepreneur types that can use our system and build businesses around our system. You know, people who can maybe, you know, talk to advertising people and get money from advertising people and then use that to run challenges. And, you know, we definitely show we can get results. If you run, if you run crypto through challenge, you'll get results when, you know, as, as long as you know what you're doing, you ask people to do the right things and you make sure that you're not getting scammed or anything, and you're not, you know, then you can get results with challenge. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, another, another, um, another way we're trying to, you know, push this particular um, coin market movement, you know, is by you know getting picked by one of these, uh, you know, uh, news crypto news um, blogs, like you say, chess. Yeah. So yeah. If we can we can get noticed by uh, maybe Coin Telegraph. <coughs> oh, I think. There's another one called I think uh, crypto news. So if you can get uh, noticed by one of these, you know, crypto uh, news blogs, you know, yeah. it will go a long way, you know, in you know making people see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, yeah, it's important for for uh, yo guys. What's going on, man? Yeah, can you? Oh, that's Yo, we know what's popping. We're just uh, we're brainstorming, trying to trying to figure out, you know, what we can do to, to make no more noise for challenge and kind of, you know, get more users and get, you know, kind of more uh, grow the project, grow the project so there's more rewards, higher CHL price, and uh, so there's, you know, more and more action. Okay, so I just invited over some people, so I think they'll be joining very soon. Cool, cool. Yeah, I think that was cool uh, a week or two ago when we got, I don't know, I think we had up to like 10, 15 people on there. So uh, I think that's one of the best ways we can show how strong our community is the fact that, you know, if we can have a, a, a video call and get, you know, 30 people on here or whatever, 10 people on here. I mean, there's power in numbers. So uh, I think that will help us in, in help us get the respect that we deserve. Because right now, I don't think we're getting, as a, as a crypto project, we're not getting the respect we deserve. You know, and um, so you know, we know we need to get you know, bigger exchanges and, and that sort of thing, and get more coverage. We need more news coverage, like you were saying, Willow. Uh, yeah, we need more. Okay, so what's the, when? When is the version eight dropping? Uh, it's September fifteenth. Is is what we got? It, September fifteenth, we'll have uh, tele support. Referral codes. I think the community is really going to like referral codes because then people can make it, you know, make get a little bit of some kickbacks for adding people to the uh, to the channel application. And, and I know a lot of you guys, and you guys are got backgrounds with Hive. You guys got are good networkers, um, and uh, you know, got plans. Uh, so you know, when we start having referral codes, then uh, you know, that's going to be nice for people to make crypto uh, by getting people to download the app. 
and then what else we're doing and then we're having DMs. We're, I don't know if it's going to help for us to have DMs. What's what's your guys' opinion on that? You think it's going to help to have DMs, you know, direct messages in the app, the challenge application? Since since it's a social media application, I think it would be nice for people to be able to interact with each other and get to meet new friends because that's gonna be the, the the goal for people to get to meet new friends from different parts of the world yeah and then different people they can cooperate with too because you know i noticed for my challenges when i make challenges i got about the same 10 or 15 people that usually always respond to my challenges and um if if we have direct messaging in the application, then say as soon as we post a challenge, I could connect yeah. with the people that I know that usually respond to my challenge. You know, maybe I, I could have 30 people that I know that people that I'm used to cooperating with, with working with, and just say, hey, I don't know if you saw my new challenge, but go check it out. And uh, it might help people coordinate better on the application. So I think it's pretty easy for us to add direct messaging. Um, that's one thing we're going to do this time. So the big three things that we're adding version eight is telesupport, uh, referral codes, and direct messaging. Yeah, um, I, I think I, I need Sorry. to add some. The issue of, um, it's not an issue though, but the part of, of having a push notification. A push no. notification for maybe I, uh, maybe you make a, you make a, a challenge right now, Chase, and I go, I go ahead to comment on that challenge. And you reply my comments thereby creating a, a thread. You understand? So I should be able to receive a push notification that you replied, you know, to my comment. Yeah. Yeah. Then that would be awesome. Yeah, I, I I did not get that. Say, come again. I see. I was I was talking about push notification. For example, now you make a challenge and I get to comment on your challenge. Completing on your challenge, you reply my comments, you know, I should be able to get the push notification that you've commented, uh, in my, that you've replied my comment rather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think right now we got notifications when you win a reward. I'm pretty sure when you get rewarded, you get a notification. Uh, but I think, yeah, it would help to get more notifications because that gets people rem thinking about, oh, check the I application. So, Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I also I get notifications when I when someone mentions my username when someone mentions me when someone I get the notification. Yeah, I think those are the only things that uh, we give notifications for is like when you get rewarded and then if someone tags you. But we should you know I'm gonna actually make that note right now. One of these times I'm gonna get the developers on here and we're all gonna talk you know get take suggestions and stuff because that's a good idea. You know, expand that that those things that we do notifications for. You know, if you like Facebook, yeah. they give you a notification for everything. You know, like every time I go on Facebook, I get twenty notifications for for stupid things. Oh, so and so did this. So and so did, like things that don't, don't really matter, but it gets my attention. Yeah. And I'm checking Facebook and I'm looking at the notifications. So we need to use that more because uh, that's you know that's where our our value comes from is people using the, the application. You know? Uh, the more people that use it, uh, the more valuable the CHL token becomes. And also the, the multi-tipping stuff. The, the feature where someone is able to tip more than right. uh, a user. Yeah, we're, we're going to try to get the... Oh, like the, like the tipping feature and the... Um, pretty much like the, the bugs, like the tipping and... Um, uh, we're going to get that taken care of uh, before September 15th. Hopefully in a couple weeks, we'll get tipping back. And there were a couple of things. Another thing also, I want to um, add, another thing I want to add is, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a link to uh, where we are being listed. Okay, now we are, we, are, we have a new DEX, you know. There yeah. should be a link in the application that will direct or okay, or redirect someone to Udex in case you just wanna, you know, shop or something or you wanna buy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it should be yeah all all the market that does of CH need to be listed on, on the coin market cap. Um 
or no on on, on the challenge application. Uh, that's a good idea. Yeah, and that might give an incentive for new exchanges to list us. You know, if, if a new exchange lists us and they know that oh, okay, there's ten thousand people that use a challenge application, and if we sell challenge, I get my link on their application. That might be an incentive for, uh, for people to uh, to add us on their exchange. That's one of the big things that could really help the project right now is just getting on bigger exchanges. It's so important for uh, crypto projects, you know, to uh, to get on ex on exchanges and volume. Um, so we got the technology, we got the users, uh, we just need a few more exchanges, you know. Yeah. Um, so okay. so um, I also think about the, our Discord community more and also our telegram community we need to promote the the links to our social media communities the more that helps to expand the, the community yeah. Yeah. as a whole yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. apart from apart from the apart from getting listed okay apart from creating challenge games on different um Different, uh, how is there a possibility for us to have a talk with the owners of this other personal talk with them and then get to the deal for them to enlist us in? I, yeah, I, I think so. I mean, it's uh. It's one thing it, that we've learned and, I, and, you know, I'm sure you guys know this too, is, you know, exchange owners are very secretive. People that run exchanges, very, exchanges are very hard to get a hold of. And I think a lot of times they like to be anonymous. I think is this very shadowy about who runs exchanges. You know, obviously things like finance, the, the biggest exchanges in the world, a couple of the, the, the biggest ones in the world, you know who runs them, you know, you know who controls them but kind of like the smaller exchanges you know they i think they make it purposely hard to get in touch with them it's hard to know who you're really talking to you know, there's been a lot of times that we've talked to different exchanges uh we didn't know if it was really you know the owner of the exchange or the manager of the exchange or just some random person on the internet so yeah. it's uh exchanges are very interesting i i don't know it's uh, a lot of times they ask for listing fees, I know we've talked to uh, Probit Exchange. Th these are people that we that we should circle back with because we had quite a, a long conversation with them, uh, probably six months ago. Uh, but people like Probit, uh, uh, P 2 P, B 2 B, or B 2 B, P 2 P Exchange. Um, who else were we talking to? Uh, big. Uh, I think we've talked to KuCoin. KuCoin, yeah, we never really heard back from KuCoin. We did that challenge directed at KuCoin, um, but we need to circle back with them because obviously they probably know who we are now because so many people deposited CHL with them. Um, and uh, KuCoin, big one, P2P, B2B exchange. Uh, they were they were trying to contact us, and they were at the time I think they were asking for like half a Bitcoin or whatever to get listed on there. So. But uh, we should circle back with them, and um, you know, because uh, obviously, you know, it's it's a big deal on what exchanges you get listed on. Yeah, so um, I got an idea. I was trying to table out my idea about the the geo challenges. I think um, we can make it possible for someone to send a direct geo challenge to just either a player or more than one player like yeah. um, willow is my friend on uh, on the challenge app i could send a personal geo challenge uh, to him and no no other person can join that challenge Pers personalize the the geo challenges so it, yeah, it was because we had uh when we when the first time i created a challenge is one of the features i you know i did it along the way. I remember sending people personal, yeah. personal, kind of a personal challenge. Yeah. So I believe we can be yeah. okay. 
Yeah, that's how we originally started. Originally, we started off as sending people challenges individually. And then I think yeah, we I moved- got people to partake in that challenge. Yeah. And then, and then we moved to a news feed just because we wanted, you know, we said, hey, let's just let everyone, you know, play, you know, just, just have a news feed. We never planned on having a news feed. And, and we, uh, can, but- we can also select, also, we can also select the number of people that can join the challenge. Okay. Yeah, well. You know, what might work well is after we get their DMs, say if the DMs go well, then maybe try to have some way of DMing people, direct messaging people, video challenges. Either that or go to the news feed where, we, uh, where, where you only follow your friends. Like you follow your friends and you see whatever they post. But uh, yeah, yeah. I think... Um, yeah, I also think the the referral stuff is gonna work well. Yeah, it go, it goes well with the crypto community. You know, the crypto crypto people they like making making even if it's something little they like making something. You know, um, so I think, yeah, even if yeah, five CHL or ten CHL. Yeah, yeah, I'm the same way. You know, it's like if uh, you know if it's, it's better than getting you know you, you want to get something for you know. For, for helping someone out or doing something. So uh, yeah. I think the referral codes will go well. We'll just, we just got to think about what most a good people, prize is for referring somebody, you know. Yeah, most, yeah. most blockchain people are tech inclined people have um, um, a problem. Some of them don't easily believe in projects when the, when the C, when they see links, you know, referral links. So you have to, you have to package yourself in such a way that you present yourself in such a way that it's going to be um, like your platform is going to be like colorful and um, you have to make it, make them believe that it's legit because most of them like me, I don't, I don't click on any link I see, you know, I have to do some research about the projects you know before i join a, a project so i think we should just we should work on to work on the, the the referral system and also that that's going to help us to get more users and also we should also work on our um team our promotional team you know that's the community managers you know yeah well we need we need yeah go ahead yeah, 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 and uh, getting the, uh, you know, I think that business, you know, we need more, you know, because we got this software at work, there's utility to it, you know, we're, 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 let, we're letting people do things, I know there's no other way that people can do the things that people are able to do on channels right now, so I think we need more, you know, promoters and more people who are like entrepreneurs who, who use technology you know, for businesses or whatever. I mean, I think there's great opportunities for people to like set up like an advertising company and, say, and, and, and just go to people and say, hey, I'll advertise your product. And then, you know, they could get fiat from the people, their clients, turn it to crypto and then use crypto to you know, advertise because you get better results using crypto. We got to have more efficient. Yeah, we, we just need to, we need to stand out from other uh, platforms, other cryptocurrency platforms or blockchain based platforms. That's what I mean. Yeah. So we should we should have the referral system. You know, I know I know we, we have we we'll gain over we we'll gain hundreds hundreds of thousands of users if we kick off the referral system. Yeah. And then like you were saying like with with uh usually when people are sharing a, a referral code they're sharing with their friends. So you trust your friends. You know if you just see a random person on the internet Hey, download this. Even if it sounds great, oh, you're gonna get free crypto. You're gonna be able to do all of these things, you know. But if you got a friend, someone you know, who's giving you the link, you're gonna trust it a lot more. So I think that's gonna grow help you grow it quite a bit. And our theory has always been that if we make really good technology and we get a lot of users, then it will be uh, heavily traded. And uh, you know, we're still waiting on exchanges. We're at, we're at ten thousand users, maybe fifteen thousand users right now. Uh, heck, we could even be close to 20. 
uh, but we're still getting ignored by a lot of exchanges. But there's going to come a certain point, you know, 100,000 users or we get 300,000 users. There's got to be a point yeah. where we, we can get noticed and people just say, hey, these guys are too big to to trade. It looks like we got Yeah, so, yeah. Like, uh, like Willow suggested, um, we can, we can integrate, we can integrate, um, new decks on the CHL application. Yeah, add a link. So to make it, to make it possible for people to be able to buy or sell CHL mm -hmm. through the challenge years application. So I, I think, um, it's possible. It's possible. Uh, the, yeah, yeah, the link to Nudex, we could get that done in you know a couple hours. I think just throw a link up there. Uh, there are a few other people that trade us. I think Alter Exchange and uh, DeFi Box. Uh, add them all. Yeah, we can add them all. You know, another thing is, what do you know about liquidity pools? I mean, when we did that in May, uh, not too long ago, with the guys from England, uh, they were talking about doing liquidity. Pools, like doing challenges like, to get your liquidity pools. Um, so I wonder if any of you guys know. Yeah, it's not a. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a. Yeah. Um, CHL, CHL is available on Alcor Exchange, so it's not a bad idea. We we could uh, we could make challenges to get people to add to the liquidity pool. Yeah. It's just making a challenge. You just have to make a challenge. That's Anytime we want to do it because CHL is on alcohol exchange. Yeah. 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 And yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, great, great it's a, a pool on alcohol. Yeah. Zach, Zach was, uh, I guess Zach is very good friends with the person that um, runs it or made it. I guess it's some guy out of, uh, I don't know, someplace. But uh, he, uh, I guess he did all the work himself and he's really talented. And uh, so, yeah, he's, he's done a good job. Um, with Alcor Exchange, it's really been growing. Um, but does uh, Nudex doesn't have liquidity pools, right? Are there liquidity pools on Nudex? I think they do. They do have. They have it. It's the DeFi box, huh? That DeFi box is the liquidity pool. Yeah. Tell us, tell us to, tell us network. Yeah. Yeah, we we should do a little yeah. bit more uh, networking with them, and hopefully, maybe we can get them to help promote us. And because we're you know we're gonna add support to them, and they told us you know, we said, hey, you know, I know we talked to us not that long ago, and uh, he was talking about maybe doing something to help us. Uh, maybe they can hook us with some sort of grant or advertising or uh, promotion or whatever. But I think people would be happy getting close. You know, that's a, I think that's another. They have the same problem we have. They're, they're very underappreciated, I think, you know, for the technology. Their technology, the price ratio is where they're at. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. But they're trying, they're, they, they do a great job with the promotions. Yeah. They have a, yeah. yeah. They yeah, they're have growing. a solid. Uh, they're growing. And their governance, their governance is good. You know, um, the, uh, Exactly. Yeah. So it, it makes uh, a community that's you know able to grow more, more easily. So that's really, that's really cool. yeah. That's, yeah. The the their team, the PR team makes uh, the they do a great job sending out a trading word about the the network. Yeah. You know they get featured on Coin Telegraph and um, Coins and. Um, What's the other coin telegraph or coin, coin yeah. decks and um coin. many yeah. more media yeah, crypto media platforms. Right. Yeah, yeah, Douglas said that he had a good relationship with uh with one of those some of those people. We should start we should start that. I, I saw I saw when you suggested that we should keep in touch with um those the those guys. The media people, the crypto media people. Yeah, start building that, relationships. With that would be that would be a nice one. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we could do a do like some sort of exchange where we say, hey, you know, we'll help distribute your stories. You know, we'll have challenges to spread your stories if you do stories on us. You know, if you write a story on us, I think we have on us, You know, we can help circulate. Yeah. 
we had a fit person we had a fit person join us so like yeah i think his just, background was yeah, just, yeah i think anyone's trying to here i just add except you know so everyone's welcome if you're watching this and you want to join and add some uh if you can put right ahead um you have to have chl yeah, so only chl holders how much how much chl do you think we should give to everyone who joined Chase. Uh, it's up, it's up to you, you know. Remind me, remind me your name. Uh, the, uh, you, yeah, you were, you were on here, you were, was wrong last week? You were the only, you know, City and, and, uh, City Mills and, and Challenge Master, Will Patrick, you guys are on, on you guys, you guys are always on the meetings, calls, but, uh, you know, this was, a, you weren't, you know, you were using here, so, I think you're the only winner, right? Yeah, yeah. This is my that's my kid brother. Oh yeah, your brother. Your chase. That's I didn't know. You. That's my kid. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, we... yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he saw he saw my post on Facebook. Awesome, cool. Yeah, tell to get the family, tell everyone on challenge, and so yeah, your your brother's the only winner today. We had that one person. He was on for a couple minutes, but uh, he logged yeah. off. So I. Awesome. We got some people were viewing. Okay. I saw some people. The, uh, we're rewarding. We got people. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, you know what? I'll let I'll let you decide. I you know maybe uh, a few thousand CHL. I I just don't want people to get disappointed. You know, if we give out big prizes now and we have to start scaling down in the future, just know if we give out a couple thousand CHL right now to viewers. Don't be mad in six months from now if we're not able to give out as much, you know, because we have scarce tokens and we can't, you know, we can't, we don't keep making more and more. So I'm all right with giving out a lot of CHL now in the beginning because definitely this is the core community and the people watching us right now are just, you know, you guys are really the kind of the foundation. Um, yeah. Later, I do a lot. I do, yeah. yeah. I do a lot of it drops on, um, on, discord so um discord i think a lot of people has gotten have gotten to know chl via discord yeah yeah, yeah because when uh, saver when i created the discord server new people they they didn't really know chl so I I started dropping a drops I and Zach so that's when they knew about the project we dropped the links the links to the project we dropped the, we dropped the the links to download the app so now like a lot of them have CHL in their tip CC wallet so that's a good thing and they, they even know that it that CHL has a, a trading pay with EOS on new decks I think so that's a big thing that's good. You know, that's good. Yeah, uh, yeah. Keep building that community up, and you know, we're we're trying to get into new places, but we got to We can't forget the people that have already supported us. You know, like Discord. Uh, you know, we need to be doing things on the discussions app too. You know, they added CHL, and uh, you know, we got to help people that have already supported the token. And uh, that, that needs to be part of our time too. So, uh, cool, cool. So it looks like we've been. I'm really. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to seeing um, Hive and uh, tell us the challenge application. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we can get Hive added. Uh, the Hellos, you know, Hellos is going to be the first one we add. We don't know if we're going to be, you know, Hello Hive is going to be harder. You know, because Hive is a little bit older. It's not as efficient, but the, you know, the team is confident they can get. Tell us working with right, um, but uh, the uh, they weren't so sure about Hive. He said, "Hey, let's give us, you know, let's see how Tell us works before we add Hive." But I'd like to add both of them, you know. And what we really need is we need to be on Hive, or no, we need to be on Tell us. And once we get on Tell us, we need to have a uh, be on their Ethereum bridge, so we get an ERC twenty token. So you know, there's so much liquidity, there's so much trading activity going on on Ethereum that we really need a uh, a good solid ERC twenty pair, you know, it's that I think that's I think part of part of the reason we haven't been getting traded more. 
they, they tell us guys they, they can work that out for us. They, yeah. yeah, they tell us guys. Yeah, I think we already talked. Yeah, developers. About it. Yeah, we already we already talked Douglas about it, and uh, yeah, so we need to circle back with him and and uh, you know because we were talking to him a while back and we were we were thinking about moving to the hive chain, but now we've committed to doing it. So now that we've committed to doing it, we need to maybe do some marketing with them. Um, maybe they can get a coin death story, something, and, uh, and the, you know, better yet, get that ERC 20 token. So we have a gateway to get a unit swap. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right. Cool, cool. So we got any other, uh, okay. news that we forgot to admit, uh, we forgot to mention? Looks like we've been going for about 30, 40 minutes. Um, uh, uh, anyone that is going to watch this, or anyone that is watching this, keep watching our Facebook challenges. Yeah. So that. Yeah. You know, maybe you know after this, Willow, you can put out a challenge and and share this on Facebook, giving out. You know, uh, a lot of our stuff gets seen you know, quite a bit on Facebook now. We're, we're, our Facebook community is really growing. Um. So I think we. Uh, it looks like another person that wants to jump in here. Um. So it's, you know, our Facebook community is growing, so I think it really helps when people share these, uh, these videos afterwards, you know, so maybe we can do a challenge afterwards to, you know, get this more seen. And I'll put it up on YouTube, too. I usually download it, put it on YouTube, um, and uh, maybe make some clips out of it, too. Okay, sure. Yeah, sure. sure. You know, um, I, I think we should, uh, I was thinking about making a challenge I really need, um, I need people to start creating challenges and not really believing on entering other people's challenges. I think people should think about creating challenges the more. Yeah, we, we, you know? we've done a good job with challenge participants and but now we need to find challenge creators, you know, um, who, you know, and I just, I think it's, you know, it's better to give than it, it is to receive, you know, that's what people say. So I think, you know, challenge is better for the, uh, the, uh, people who create challenges. I mean, it's great for our project is, you know, when we put this video out and, you know, for, you know, 30 cents of crypto, Willow, you can get it seen, you know, hundreds of thousands of times. Um, so when other entrepreneurs and other business people, realize that they can use this for their business or they can use this for anything for their to promote their idea then i think we're going to see a flood of people starting to make challenges and i think that's going to be great for everybody you know, there's, there's going to be so many rewards you can win uh there's going to be people using challenge i think it's really going to help grow their network so i almost think that's the number one thing we got to do is get more of a challenge uh producers and creators that's probably the top thing we got to work focus on yeah yeah sure cool cool all right, so we got anything like, else that before? Um, we, it, is that a wrap? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I was yeah, saying what this, to data you know, junkie it's is always powerful seeing a, a lot of ideas, challenge. He got a lot of ideas. Yeah, he, yeah he got, I thought that um, amazing. Yeah, yeah, and that AMA we did with them was a really good AMA. They asked really good questions. So I'd like to circle back with them and see, you know, if, because uh, they were talking about us going on Eden, you know, trying to participate on Eden, uh, yeah, so do some other stuff. But, uh, we need to circle back with them and see how we can help. They were even asking us if we needed money, yeah. if we could use credit yeah. and stuff. I saw something. I saw the Eden, they've launched a Discord boat where you can go power up your EOS via Discord. Okay, nice. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna invite the boat onto the challenge US Discord. I'll do it I'll do it this so that people so that if you, you are short of CPU you can just head over to the challenge US um the challenge that discord server and uh, power up your EOS instead of um, stressing yourself to go to the website or go to the application to one of these US wallets, you know. Just head over to I the Discord boat they, your EOS, and they, they your just, CPU, the sorry. On, there's a bot on Telegram that handles it. So I think... Sure, I think, sure, sure. Yeah. I, I use that. Well, and uh, 
I think it's, you know, we've been so busy with building this application and, and focusing on our own business that we haven't really been paying much attention to the larger EOS, um, uh, going, what's going on with the larger EOS community. So, you know, they, they're telling us about Eden and all these different initiatives they're, they're having. And, you know, I don't know about them. Maybe you guys do. But, uh, you know, we've been so cool with our own stuff that we haven't been keeping up with that. But it's important that we do, you know, give them advice because they were saying, hey, you guys have a unique perspective. You guys have a running application. You guys have a real DAP. So you guys have a valuable perspective on, uh, on EOS governance. Um, so we need to, you know, circle back with them and help them out. And they said that maybe they could help us out with grants. I mean, if we were able to get some grants from them, uh, that would be amazing. And uh, I think, I don't know what's going on with Bullish Global, but somehow maybe they could be connected with Bullish Global. Um, you know, if they are, it's, it's hopefully we think when they go live, they add us and they have liquidity pools for challenge. Supposedly they're going to be very big when they open up. Uh, and I guess they're connected to Block One or EOS. So uh, hopefully they have seen each other. Yeah. Oh, you mean the one the guy uh, the guy on uh, EOS Project Telegram was telling us about? Yeah, the, the grants. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what grants he was talking about, but he was saying, you know, he was asking us on that AMA, hey, you know, could you guys use some grants? Would could that assist you? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> some grants would assist us. We could use some grants. <laughs> yeah, the, he loves the app. He loves the Challenge EOS application. Yeah, cool. Yeah, we need to circle back with them and, and make sure that uh, we uh, we have a good relationship with you know all those block producers and people in the EOS community. So, sure. Cool, cool, cool. All right, um, cool. You got anything else? Yeah, to everyone who's gonna watch this, um, keep dropping amazing challenges. I'm looking forward to seeing your challenges. You know, I we welcome all kinds of challenge ideas from all around the world and from different kinds of people so we need the challenges coming keep them coming keep them coming and the thing is don't feel bad about posting a bad challenge because if you post a bad challenge uh it won't become popular you won't, people won't vote for it so it won't trend and uh you know it'll just go down to the bottom and you know no one participates not a big deal so yeah post yeah. challenges and um you know and i think that's our key to success is getting more you know more uh also challenges. mind the links mind the links Mind the kind of links you share. Mind the kind of crypto project links you share. Make sure you do some researches before you just before you share a link. You know. Yeah. You don't just see link and post it on the challenge years. Yeah, that could give you a bad rating. I mean, if anyone's on there, and and this goes for cheaters too. If you're on challenge and you start cheating and you and you try to do like you cheat or you you have uh, yeah or if you try to like. Uh, you have a scam link, you know it's a scam link, and you're promoting it on challenge, we'll ban you. We'll just throw you off the application. So don't do that. So don't do that. Um, you know, obviously it runs on blockchain, so you know everything you do on the blockchain is permanent, but we can our front end we can still block you from our front end, just kinda like hive does, you know. So don't don't uh, share spam, don't try to and and and, uh, and don't cheat on people's challenges either. Uh, at the very least it's gonna get you a bad rate. Yeah. Also, I see some people drop challenges with 0 0.001 CHL rewards. So I don't know why they're doing that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think like some people, I think probably 30% of the people in challenge don't understand how it works. You know, they don't understand. They think it's just like they're posting art or whatever. So, you know, just know if you make a challenge with 0 0.0001 CHL, you know, there's probably people we, aren't going to respond to it. You know, yeah, people we, aren't going to participate in it. To be able to flag, to be able to flag some people, we 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 should be able to to downvote some people, to give them a bad rating. And one thing that we did in the last um last version is, you know, you you guys remember like six months ago we were getting spammed. There's somebody came and they just kept uh, spamming the the whole news feed. So. Now, every time you post a challenge, it does cost you five CHL. You know, we, we take five CHL every time you post a challenge. Um, so that took care of the spam. Yeah. So, you know, when people are posting, you know, it's still adding to the reward pool. Um, but yeah, 
make it realistic. I think anybody who is making a challenge, you know, you should, your aim of a challenge is to try to get people to participate. You want people to participate. And I don't think people are going to participate for 0 0.1 uh, CH at all. Okay, so can, is there a possibility of incorporating, okay, like a, a major giveaway, if I should use that word, when they finally launch the next, um, the next uh, app, like a major giveaway for those that will, that will get the highest referrals, that will help create more engagement, if possible. Like if I understand that, if I have the understanding that, okay, we'll have this amount of CHL, if I have to refer, if I have to refer about five persons or more, and then even, or is like 100 persons or more, even with my, even with my referral bonus, I'm, and there's still a giveaway awaiting me, or get, keep having the highest amount of referrals, is the possibility of incorporating that into the system? I feel that will create more engagement for the community. Like uh, as a huge, a huge giveaway. So you're saying like, so the more the person, when you're given the, people, the person with the highest number of invitations. Uh, even if it's not a giveaway, even if it's not a crypto giveaway, it might as well be probably a recognition or a badge or something of sorts. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah that's, I mean, that's what makes okay. crypto fun. We can, you know, it's easy for us to do that stuff. That's just something that we got to think about as a community about, you know, do we want to reward everyone every time someone gets, do we want to? No, uh, we, can, we can do maybe top five, maybe the top five. Five, yeah. And I think in going into the future, another thing that's going to be very important for us is uh, what happens to our reward pool. So, you know, right now we, we're taking like 5% from every challenge, sticking it in a reward pool, and we're just letting people spin a wheel and just, you know, see who wins it. You know, I don't know how many people won or lost. or Well, you, you don't lose because, you know, you can only win. But, uh, you know, if, if we grow and we get to maybe a couple million users, that reward pool is going to get bigger. And at some point, I don't know if, we'd, if we want to distribute that back to CHL holders. Uh, you know, we could distribute those rewards back to people based on their rating. You know, so we, could do a, we could have a formula where the most active people with the most highest ratings get the bigger point of that pool. So it incentivizes people to, uh, to post more and then have high ratings too. So that, that could be something we do down the road too, but there's things that we got to think start thinking about now and uh, down the road, uh, you know, figuring it out, you know, because that's, that's the thing that makes people feel cool is you can do all the little fun things to reward the community and incentivize people. Yeah, that, okay. that referral okay. system is going to help us a lot. Yeah. Okay, like you said, in, when I asked about um, the, go, uh, the Facebook ads and the Instagram ads that, okay, yes, they're trying to steal their business. Now, what if we bypass the Facebook and the Instagram ads? You know, all of them still fall under the Google ads. What if we bypass the Facebook and Instagram community and try to create a major ad with Google that we, in, in a situation whereby, because I've, I've tried to study um, creating Google ads, in a situation whereby um, someone searches for blockchain or someone searches for challenges on the Google page, and then the Google, then the challenge app or challenge that community comes on, is there a possibility of us creating promotions and advertisements on Google itself that is bypassing Instagram and Facebook yeah, advertisements? Yeah, yeah we can. Uh... You know, we can advertise on Facebook, on Instagram, we can Facebook, on, on Google, we can advertise anywhere. It's just, uh, you know, we just have to have the budget for it. So, you know, we, there have been people that talk about giving us grants and stuff. And I think if we do get some grants or if we we're able to get on a bigger exchange and we get a bigger budget, uh, we could probably decide some portion of them for advertising outside of talent, you know, like that for, you know, Google ads and even Instagram and Facebook, you know, we are trying to uh, provide a better option than, than they they have, but I'm not against uh, using them and, and, you know, trying to, you know, use, uh, 
you know, to get more people to, you know, do advertising with them. Um, but we are trying to, you know, we, we do have a better system. We just need to get more people using it. Um, so yeah, I think, you know, that's something, especially, you know, that's one thing that we've always been doing is right before a launch, you know, we try to really up the marketing before and after a launch, uh, to get people on that new, that new, uh, version. Okay. Cool, cool. I also think um, we should work on the communities. Uh, I saw some people who say they're, they're from the Arab community and they would like to build, um, they are from the Arabic region and they would like to build a community, uh, an Arabic community for the challenge deck. But um, I think we should work on, um, we should work on the, as much communities that we have. Uh, as, as much the app that approaches us, you know, the, the managers should work on a, a lot of um, yeah. community managers. That will help us. Okay, so okay, but even Indian, we need the Indian community, Arabic community, wherever. Okay, okay, but, yeah, okay, go but ahead. Is there is there provisions for different languages? Because that will also, I feel that's also a barrier because there are some communities that don't speak English clearly. So there's a, is there a provision for them to have the application in their own languages? Not right now. So right now it's only English. And that's one thing that we try to add the next version. And, you know, maybe I know we're already working on the next version, but that's one thing that we need to add. You know, we, we, we've talked to the developers about having, there's a feature where you can have multiple language, report multiple languages. Um, we weren't able to get around to it last time. Nice. It's important because, you know, right now, the majority of people who, I mean, everyone that uses Challenge has to know English. You know, it's only pretty much English um, users on there, um, English speakers. So um, I think if we got other languages on there, it, it would help us. It's just a technical thing. I think we just want to see if we can do it. What if the, what if, yes, every, um, majority of the persons on the Challenge app are, English speaking person. So what if the the challenge is actually that they cannot um, interpret the English or they find it difficult to interpret interpret the English. That is why they are not on the application. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I notice a lot of people uh, you know, when they make videos and stuff, you can tell English is their second language. You know, they so they're still trying they don't know English well, but it's still you know, if anything, challenge is really probably helping a lot of people learn English because we ask people to make uh, videos so much, but you can tell it's not their first language uh, when they're making videos. Uh, but um, yeah, that's one thing that we guys got. To, you know, as we expand, um, you know, we, if we had multiple languages, we might be at way more users than we have now. Because uh, right now we're not only refined to the English. We're, we're, you know, we're only kind of in the English speaking world right now. Uh, I know a lot of people Spanish. Just getting Spanish would help us a lot. You know, I don't know how much work it would be. Just to get uh, Spanish on there, but if we had it, that would really help us because there's so many Spanish speakers, uh, especially in crypto. So, uh, extra language is something that we definitely need to get. Okay, so I feel if we're making challenges and doing a video coverage of ourselves saying something or advertising the challenge community, I feel the persons that do not um, speak English fluently can as well try or can as well use their own languages. And if there's provisions for us to make interpre interpretations, that is, that is going to also expose us to other, other communities whereby persons from probably um, China and speaking Mandarin or German, when they hear their fellow German persons speaking their language, they can also, um, what should I say, they can also relate to the activity going uh, relates to the uh, to the community. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's one thing that's going to help us is just uh, like a technical issue. You know, I see where Facebook's doing that now. If you look on Facebook sometimes, if someone writes something in a different language, you can get translate it translates it to your language. You guys doing that? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So if that code is out there somewhere. Uh, we just got to implement it into our systems. Um, so that's one thing. You know. But uh, yeah, just more more development and more things to work on. But that's an important thing that we've been adding. We've been thinking about adding for a while. And 
we haven't gotten around to, but that and, um, you know, all the other stuff we've been working on. Yeah, we just, we just got, have to integrate the, the, uh, the app on Telos blockchain. Yeah. Then we get all these things added. Yeah. yeah I have a feeling if you get, you know, if you, if you go on Telos, their community will solve a lot of these problems. For us. You know, we'll get enough support, you know, cause I think we have such a d- dynamic community that, you know, maybe they, and they have, they have a, a team, they have a team of skilled developers, you know, I think about 30, 30 developers. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, cool. Cool. So, um, good. I think we've been going for about an hour now. So a lot of good information and, uh, you know, we'll, right. how's your schedule tomorrow? We'll do our AMA tomorrow city or, or we got something planned. Yeah, we we we'll do the AMA tomorrow is Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Yeah, we might not Saturday, but um, yeah. So maybe you know, if we we looks like we got four or five people on today. If we let people know a little bit about four time earlier in the week, maybe we can get more people on these calls. I think we could do a public call and then we'll do like an AMA. And uh, so, thanks for everyone watching, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Okay, bro. All right. Stay safe. Yeah, take it easy, guys. Thanks for joining.